welcome to our youtube channel in this video we are going to look the stage 6 of 6 that is the end stage of substation gantry structure load calculation based upon european standard en 50341 part 1 in this stage final stage we are going to cover extreme wind calculation high wind plus ice calculation moderate wind plus ice and finally the short circuit forces with deviation and without deviation of conductors so next we need to calculate this wind forces and short circuit force so for extreme wind cases so this is a extreme wind case sheet in that we are going to calculate load acting in 0 degree angle that means acting parallel to conductor you can see this image so these are the wind force direction which is acting parallel to the conductor span so in this while it is acting parallel there won't be any wind force due to conductor only wind forces are applicable on uh, due to suspension insulator and tension insulator so we know the length and uh, diameter of the suspension insulator so 960 plus 16 into height of the insulator disc 3.53 is the total meter length of the insulator and hardware so that into 340 is a diameter we had defined here so multiplying this in wind to into the extreme wind speed which we had calculated in wind load as 1.33 so here you can see this 1.33 kN per meter square so this uh, force we need to calculate in kN so we have to multiply this area area means nothing but it is a diameter into the length of the insulator so by multiplying these two 1.33 this 2 means it is nothing but it is a two number of insulator for a suspension and tension insulator as it is having the twin conductor which we got selected here for every twin can uh, a twin uh, conductor means there should be some two number of a tension insulator a suspension insulator may be one so here for uh, a tension insulator we can have it as 2 but for suspension insulator it should be 1 so we can calculate this and find out the value is 2.14 so some project they might have some twin uh, uh, a suspension insulator but in our case it is only one as per this picture we can see that so here in this picture you can see only one suspension insulator and there are two insula two tension insulator so we can change here so one suspension insulator only we are having so if it is not applicable you can select this uh, no and you can see here in that extreme load the load value is zero for suspension insulator so we can select yes so we are having one number entered here so for two and one tension and suspension insulator so these are the wind load so total it is 3.21 similar like wind acting uh, perpendicular to conductor that is in this direction from this picture you can able to understand so it is a wind 90 4b in this there will be wind on suspension insulator tension insulator and on conductor here the length and the diameter we are considering and the wind speed and here one in one side and here we are considering two side because when if you see in this picture 
if the wind is acting in this direction two conductor is holding two turn two insulator is holding two conductor so there are we need to consider two insulator uh, exposed area and similar like in other span we are having other two insulator so uh, total it is four to be considered so we are considering here four here uh, 0.67 is a nothing but for any uh, cylindrical object we need to consider only two third of its uh, surface area as the wind uh, exposed uh, is less in uh, cylindrical shape of uh, any material so this insulator is uh, having a shape of uh, cylindrical so we need to consider 0.67 that is two third of the entire as a projected area so the 0.67 is multiplied with that and wind acting diagonal to conductor so this is a picture in this we are just multiplying this f of x which we had calculated in 4a wind acting parallel to conductor into cos 45 because diagonal means we are considering 45 degree similar like for f of y we are considering f of y of uh, wind acting in uh, 90 degree that is wind acting uh, perpendicular to conductor span into cos 45 similar like we are applying the same formula for same method for earth wire for uh, earth wire there is no wind in x direction that is parallel to conductor only in y direction similar like a conductor we are calculating here there is no insulator or suspension or tension insulator for earth wire insulator the purpose is mainly for uh, disconnect the uh, 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 touch potential of any uh, electric uh, conductor electric uh, flow so, uh, but that is why that uh, insulator is applicable only for conductor, not to hold uh, earth wire. And similar like for wind uh, diagonal direction to conductor or earth wire, we are multiplying this Fy of uh, 90 degree that is perpendicular to earth wire or conductor into cos 45. So finally, this is a summary for extreme wind load cases for 0 degree direction 45 degree direction and the 0 sorry 90 direction so for 0 degree that is parallel to conductor or earth wire f of x is 3.21 whereas in 90 degree there is no value for f of y for 0 direction parallel to conductor span 0 and for perpendicular to conductor span it is 7 So for 45, f of x and f of y both are applicable. Similar like in a tower earth wire fixing point, there is no wind in zero direction. Only in 45 direction and 90 direction there, there are. The next one is we need to calculate high wind plus ice. So this is also similar type of calculation we are going to do it multiplying the length and the diameter and the number of uh, uh, insulators so here what we have to do is the wind load which we have to consider is a high wind so for that high wind we have high wind value is one kilo uh, one kilo newton per uh, meter square so that we had already calculated in the, in wind and ice load sheet so here you can see this is a high load, high wind load for insulator sets in kilonewton per meter square. Similar like for moderate wind, it is 0 0.8 kilonewton per meter square, which we are going to see in the next case. So multiplying with the same value as 0 0.67 for projected area. We are getting 0 0.8 for suspension and 1.61 for 
tension insulator summation of this two is 2.41 this is to be applied in every phase so similar like for a 90 degree that is uh, perpendicular to conductor span we need to consider this conductor also so in that conductor span also we need to consider this chi wind which we had calculated already in kilo newton per meter square for conductor here you can see it is 53.95 newton per meter we already multiplied this with d i so we can also compare with this extra wind extreme wind cases for conductor so it is 1.65 but here it is 5.85 it is because of that uh, we are considering the diameter wind exposed to diameter as uh, uh, exact diameter for extreme uh, wire uh, extreme wind cases but for uh, high wind and moderate wind we need to consider this equal and ice covered diameter that is why this higher value uh, come so this is a summation of this uh, wind forces in direction perpendicular to conductor span so similar like wind acting diagonal we are going to multiply with the cos 45 of respective directions so similar like earth wire there is no wind acting parallel to conductor or earth wire and only for perpendicular direction and this diagonal direction there is wind so here also we are going to multiply this wind load which we already calculated here at the end we are, we had calculated here high wind for earth wire so the same value to be multiplied with cos 45 for diagonal wind so this is a summary of high wind plus ice case so similar like for moderate wind ice case we are going to consider the wind load here the length and the diameter are remain same for insulators only the wind load we are going to consider as moderate wind 0.8 so here in the load calculation you can see here for insulator for moderate wind it is 0.8 kilo newton per meter square so that that we are going to multiply with the diameter and the length of the insulator and 0.67 that is two third of projected area for circular shape we are getting 0.64 for suspension insulator and for tension insulator it is 1.29 adding this it is 1.93 similar like for wind acting perpendicular to conductor span 6 point b case we need to consider this conductor wind also so in this case we are going to consider only the moderate wind for conductor so here you can see 43.16 newton per meter to be considered for moderate wind plus ice so that is 4.68 summation of all this and the next one is a diagonal wind again we are going to multiply with the cos 45 in both the respective directions so this is for earth wire similar like earth wire also we have to consider the moderate wind as we had consider here so this are the summary for moderate wind and ice so after calculating this uh, we can consider that so far we had calculated up to 6 c so up to this uh, sixth load group we had calculated now the remain pending is short circuit force that is seventh group so let we calculate those also so short circuit force also we need to calculate based upon this uh, uh, conductor wire tension which we had calculated earlier like considering this 0 degree deviation and 30 degree deviation but in conductor wire tension we had consider 3 uh, a uh, temperature uh, cases uh, zero minus 20 and uh, minus 40 that is uh, minimum design temperature minus 40 as per the 
technical specification which we had considered in input data sorry a wind sheet so here in the top minus 40 degree celsius is a minimum to a design temperature as per the project locations or technical specification provided by the client but in short circuit force we no need to consider any temperature variations because short circuit force will be occurred only due to this fault current there is no impact of temperature ice or wind so only thing we need to calculate whether conductor is in with deviation or without deviation so similar case we in wire tension we get consider based upon the about temperatures but in this case as per the input provided by the electromechanical team we need to consider it is a 70 kilo newton short circuit force so the same value we need to consider only thing we are calculating based upon this deviation here it is a zero deviation so we can directly consider this as a horizontal force f of x there is no horizontal force transverse force fy and vertical similar like for earth wire there is no need to consider short circuit force only the tension for the same to be considered so that is 5 kN for zero temperature we need to consider so this is a summary for the same and similar for 30 degree deviation so you can see the plan and section for conductor deviation as we had explained already in wire tension calculation so this 30 degree upward and downward we need to decide for upward 30 degree we need to enter or for downward it should be minus 30 degree so there will be some tension used to occur so it is upward for the upward we need to calculate this so 70 into cos delta v cos delta h is 52.5 similar like for uh, horizontal transverse load these are the value so vertical load is 70 into sin delta v so similar like we need to consider for uh, earth wire also so these are the summary for short circuit force with 30 degree horizontal and vertical deviation upward so this is all about the scf force direction and magnitude calculation so finally we had calculated all the 19 numbers of primary loads so once after this we need to input this uh, all the load values into the structural model which we had already prepared the link for uh, creating the model in both stat pro and robot structural analysis are given in description you can watch those videos and from the next video onwards we are going to apply this load into the model which we had developed already and do the all the and design calculation and we are going to analysis the model by applying this loads and finally we are going to design the members and uh, connections based upon the uh, european standards so this is the end of the structural load calculation for substation gantry using european standard 50341 part 1 and its national annexer thank you look description for more related videos subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you